Welcome, Leos. I'm back, y'all, with another video. So, yeah, let's talk. Let's talk, Leos. Let's get into it. Let's see what messages we got for the Leos. So, this is going to be for the month of May. <clears throat> so, if this message resonates with you guys, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like subscribe and share with your family and friends as well as comment if this message resonates all right so let's talk guys let's talk let's talk let's talk oh i want to let you guys know about my pro my uh, my product here all right so really quick guys this is my latest item that has been added to the website this is the energy clearing spray so a lot of people, you know, have been saying that they aren't able to utilize the Sage Bundle because they're in the office or they are, you know, trying to cleanse out and clear out the energy out of their car and they just don't want to burn the Sage or someone is living with them and they can't burn the Sage, okay? So I've made an alternative for you guys, okay? This is the Energy Clearing Spray, all right? It has everything that you need to clear away energy, negative energy, okay? You can simply be around someone that got some negative energy and you could just squirt their energy away. You could be in your office and your boss is giving you a hard time and you want their energy up out of your way. Here you go. <laughs> squirt. <laughs> Get that up out of here. Take that energy with you. Hey, because it's not mine, right? <laughs> well, this item, guys, is on the website, okay? It has every, like I said, it has everything that you need already in it. Palo Santo, Sage, Florida water, everything that you need is already jam packed in this. It also has clear quartz crystals in it um, just to help and enhance this. Okay, this is a really magical product here. You guys are going to love this. Okay, it did sell when I had it on pre order. It, I actually ran out of bottles, ran out of everything, <clears throat> and I had to restock. And everybody who was sent out there who did their orders last week are getting their orders this week. And the people who are ordering this week is getting their orders next week because they're so they're coming in quick. Okay, so go ahead, guys. Once you finish listening to this, read, head over to the website and get your energy clearance spray. I made it very affordable for you guys and everything. So head over and get your energy clearance spray. All right. So let's talk, Leo. Let's see what messages we got for you for the month of May. Let's see what type of love messages we got for the Leo. What's going on with Leos for the month of May? We got past life relationships. Flirting. And religious factors. <clears throat> You're calling in a soulmate. You want a soulmate. You want a soulmate, okay? You've been waiting for this, and you just can't wait any longer. Like, you're like, please come to me. It's like you're just calling this energy in. Bring me my soulmate. I want my soulmate. I have my soulmate, okay? I feel like you're going to be catching romantic feelings, and there's some attraction going on here, all right? I feel like you're putting yourself first. Or you're working on loving yourself first. But I feel like some of you want to give a relationship a chance. Because you feel like this person could actually be the one. Okay. I feel like you may have disconnected. Or some of you are going to disconnect from the world. To spend time with this person. Because you <clears throat> are so optimistic about love. But be careful with this person. I feel like. Be careful with this person because there is some deception here, okay? Someone is wearing a false mask. And I don't feel like it's too safe for you to let your guard down with this person just yet, okay? So some of you are going to be getting advice from friends, okay? And you're going to see where this goes. But I feel like for some of you, you're going back to the past, okay? Like you're flirting with your past here. You're flirting with the past, okay? Y'all got to learn them exes be an ex for a reason now. Y'all got to learn. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on. What message do you have for my Leos? What's going on with my Leos?
All right, a couple more shuffles here. All right, Leos, bottom of the deck, we have the tower. Yeah, so something is just out of the blue. An opportunity is handed to you out of the blue, okay? Somebody's been holding on to you or you've been holding on to somebody else. It's like you've been keeping something in the corner pocket. <laughs> it's like you've been keeping something in the corner pocket. Somebody may be um, <clears throat> rejected you or you rejected someone. And there may, someone here could also be having financial issues. There's a lot of pinnacles here. So some of you could be dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. But I feel like you're regretting a decision here. You're regretting a decision to, I feel like there was some type of third party or some type of breakup here. And it's like you're regretting, you're regretting something. Okay, you feel like you're you're waiting for this person to let their guard down. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on, Leos. Six of Cups, didn't I tell you? Y'all looking at the past. The two of Cups. Something to hear about a past relationship. Queen of Cups. You cared about this person. You could have been dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But there was like a lot of arguments, disagreements, pettiness. There was so much stuff. This this relationship was unhealthy as hell, okay? The moon, there's lots of secrets. The hangman, hermit, magician, judgment, and the lovers. Wow. So let's let's see what's going on here. There's something here about the past here that's coming up. Okay, tell me more about this Queen of Cups. <clears throat> the Three of Cups. I feel like you've been thinking about this person or this person has been thinking about you. You want to talk to this person. You want to reach out to this person, but you're not sure. You're not sure if they have a, a lover. You're not sure what they got going on. Um, there was definitely, this relationship was definitely toxic with the devil and the ten of cups. Like, this relationship was definitely unhealthy, okay? Wow. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. I'm getting a friendship. Maybe you guys had decided to be friends. Yeah, it's like you tried to be friends with this person. Eight of Pentacles. It's like you tried to be friends with this person from the past, okay? But it looks like you are always the one who have to fix everything. King of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. It's like if you don't fix it, then it's not going to work. So you moved on. You're disappointed, but you moved on nevertheless. I feel like you tried to be friends with this person. Why is the Six of Cups here? The Sun. Okay, so you're thinking about this person. Memories. Like you're going down memory lane. Okay, you're going down memory lane. You are reevaluating, you know, the situation. Um... Somebody here is like really, really popular. There, somebody's really popular. <clears throat> Somebody here could even be married. With the Four of Wands and the Hierophant, definitely like a commitment, a higher level of commitment. King of Cups. Or there's a living situation. Somebody lives with someone. But there was a lot of lies going on in this situation. Okay. So maybe you've been spying on this person. You find out like this person is a liar. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm getting that something was exposed to the sun and the moon is here. Even though the sun is you guys' energy. I feel like something got exposed. Not a sword. So yeah, you were kind of like overthinking this situation. <clears throat> you were kind of overthinking this situation. And it's like you just got a chance to look at this person and you find out that this person is a liar. 
<laughs> like, this person is a liar. Like, you find out that this person is a liar. Okay. Tell me more about Two of Cups. Yeah, this is like an on again, off again relationship type thing. It's like y'all cool one minute, the next minute y'all not. Y'all love each other one minute, the next minute y'all don't. And it feel like it was like ultimately like a breakup, okay? But I feel like you're kind of regretting this because you feel like this was an opportunity, like a great opportunity. But I feel like just out of the blue, like it was just like, it wasn't really out of the blue. It was, it was just that the opportunity failed. I'm getting failed mission, abort mission here. But I still feel like you hold on to this person. It could be, like I said, the devil could be a Capricorn, but the situation is definitely unhealthy and toxic. Okay, but what's the five of swords here? Yeah, this person getting been getting on your nerves. Six of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Yeah, so this person like gets on your nerves. Like this person gets on your last nerve with this on again, off again mess that they got going on. This person gets on your nerves. Sorry, guys. That was my dryer. Sometimes it does that if I put too much clothes in there. Well, this person really, like, gets on your nerves. <laughs> giving you problems. Like, this person been giving you problems. So, I feel like you decided to slow things down. You decided to slow things down. But I feel like you're thinking about this person. Like, you're possibly like, oh, I'm, I'm worried about them. I wonder how they're doing. But they've been getting on my nerves. They've been getting on my nerves lately. But I wonder, I wonder how they're doing. Why is the moon here? Could be dealing with a Pisces. I don't know. You is really, I feel like stuck in your mind, stuck in your head. Like, this person has been stuck in your mind. Like, this person could live at a distance from you but there's been no communication like somebody cut off communication and like it's like you can't stop thinking about you can't stop thinking about them why is the hangman here you're waiting for this person to show up and fight for this okay because i feel like you're already stable like you're already situated you're already pretty much good you building you 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 know you're saying you got a good job you're stable you wait for this person to reach out to you first because you feel like they need to put they need to fix it this time you fix it this time i fix it every time you fix it this time so maybe you're being you ghosted them yeah, it's for attention. <laughs> Somebody here is looking for attention. I feel like it's you guys. We all know, I, and this is not a stereotype. I know for a fact that Leos, y'all are like, yeah, give me me, my validation. Yup, you see me. <laughs> and that's what I know for a fact. I have a Leo daughter. Okay, so I know for a fact what's, what's going on. Yeah. See, somebody feels like they're a fan. Like... Somebody here is married and walked away from what walked away from me. Somebody's realizing their worth. So maybe you go sit this person because you feel like I already done been down this. I already seen this before. Like I like you and everything, but you toxic. Why the magician here? This person over here makes they feel like everything is always a big deal. Like you make everything a big deal. Somebody could uh, it could be involving money as well too. Like maybe you're always the giver, or they're always asking you for money or a gift. So with the judgment here, ooh, the ten of swords, yeah. There's, like, I feel like a judgment call is being made to end this and maybe start back up again. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Four of Wands. Yeah, like, I'm getting, like, there's an ending here. There is a judgment call. 
And the judgment call is to end this and then start fresh, possibly elsewhere, or a new beginning, a new start with this person. And we got the lovers here. Why is the lovers here? The page of pentacles. <laughs> Ooh, somebody's coming in with a love offer. Yeah, somebody's coming in with a love offer. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Five of Wands. Somebody's coming in with a love offer. The offer is coming in. <clears throat> I'm not sure if this is you, Leo's. But a love offer is coming either from this person or you're offering this person love. Why is the Five of Wands here? I'm getting like there's a lot of competition or arguments or fighting. Six of Swords. Okay, so somebody's forgiving somebody. And somebody's... And I feel like you guys are forgiving this person. And you're open to love with this person again. You're open to it. Nine of Cups and the Emperor. Yeah, you want this person. You really want this person. You're spying. <clears throat> you're keeping low-key and you're spying on this person. You don't see nothing that's changed, though. I feel like you guys are looking at the signs and not paying attention to really what's going on in front of you. I feel like some of y'all are going to just go with the go ahead and press on with this with this offer. The Empress and the Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. I, but I feel like you're waiting for this person to come towards you and speak up. Okay, your intuition is telling you. To not, you know, rush towards this person. Because I feel like regardless of the fact you're financially good. I feel like when finances, you don't have any issues in that department. But I feel like um, somebody is always chasing, is always the chaser. And some, and I feel like you guys are, you know, putting your guard up this time. And giving this person like that king of swords energy. Like, okay, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. You ain't going to get away that easy though. It's a toxic, it's a toxic cycle. Like, this is a to a real toxic relationship. Like, it's toxic. I'm not even going to lie. <clears throat> it's toxic. Like, I feel like you're waiting for this person to reach out to you first. Some of you are traveling to this person. Chariot and the world. Like, you're traveling to this person. And you're spying on them. You're traveling to them so you can see what they got going on. But I definitely do feel like, I feel like you guys are going to forgive somebody from the past. And you're going to be offering love to this person. Or vice versa. So let's take, let's look a little bit deeper. Because this person from your past, <laughs> this person from your past is like you all up in your head about, about this person. Let's see what's going on with them. What does this person want to say to Leo's? What does this person want to say? I wish things could be different. What else? We both know I'm not the one for you. Wow. I still feel like they want you, but they hide who they really are. Like this person hides their the true them. Like they hide who they really truly are. Um I know I messed up everything. So this person is over here, like, you know, wishing that things could be different between you two. Um, but also feeling like they feel like they aren't the one for you. And there's something that they know that they messed up. This person knows that they messed up. What else does this person want to say to Leo's?
All right, so this person could be going through an awakening. Um, and they're trying to heal from some old wounds and childhood issues needs revisiting. So this person needs to go heal, okay? Like, this person is going through healing. They're going through an awakening. They're trying, they're dealing with traumas and things from their past. They may just not be ready to move forward at this time. They, they got some healing to do, all right? Somebody here is obsessed. We got someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. And then we got new love, okay? So this person could have someone new coming in. A new love or a recommitment to love is developing. And then we got support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. They feel like you two are on both pages when it comes to talking about support. Like, okay, um, I'm going to help you do this this week. But then the other person is feeling like maybe it's a gift. Or I feel like you there's different pages when it comes to um, certain topics. They feel as if you guys are not on the same page when it comes to that. Okay. This is something that they feel like they know that they messed up on. That maybe they should have been more supportive towards you. Um, and they're feeling like, you know, maybe I'm not the one for you. They may have a new love coming in for them. But there's things that they need to heal from that they haven't healed from in regards to this situation. Like they're they're healing from past traumas and things. And they aren't, they may not, just, they just may not be ready You know what, let's use these. All right. Um, tell me what action this person is going to take to towards you. This person is really super duper depressed. Okay. They're, um home all the time they're in the house all the time they're depressed um they're looking for a happy place like they're looking for a happy place they're lonely okay but there are secrets okay tell me more this person here is upset as hell like they're upset over some type of fight or argument or disagreement they're still upset here um and this person they fear commitment look at this fear domesticated this person is fearing settling down like they're afraid to settle down stress there this person is stressed and worried okay <laughs> they're worried like they're think they think they over obsess and think about the past too much here Yeah, this person is afraid. Tell me more about Divine Feminine and Happy Place. Like, ego. Okay, so this person is extremely ego-based. Okay, like, this person, that's why the Emperor energy kept coming out. This person um, is extremely ego-based. Like, they are super obsessed with themselves. They probably go by, walk past the mirror and just look at themselves and just admire themselves, love themselves. Everything has to be about them they put themselves completely first in every situation it's like them or nothing at all like if they're not being appeased in a the situation then they don't want nothing to do with it but at the same time i feel like that's a cover-up because this person i feel like sits at home and they're really depressed like this person really is super duper stressed out and they're afraid they're afraid of a commitment Yeah, see, this person just sits at home. Um, they're at home a lot. This person I'm getting, like, could be like a homebody. They spend a lot of time at home. But in that time that they're alone, they could be feeling, like, down or depressed, okay? We got a spiritual journey. This person could, like I said, I feel like this person is going through some type of awakening. And um, they want to spend time at home. 
um, because it's more relaxing or it's more calming. Um, they may feel like when they're dealing with you, it's always a fight or argument. And that's causing them to be fearful. Fear of going into a domesticated or a, a real relationship. Okay? So that's what I got for you guys. If this message resonated, guys, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the website, guys, and order your energy clearing spray. All right. As well, if you're interested in booking a personal reading, guys, all that information is in the drop box below. All right. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.